All right, we're here with one of the youngest turps, but certainly experienced. It's James Graham. And boy, there's a, a lot of talk about the development of your game and how you got here. You were 17 years old mm -hmm. on the court. I remember you got here and you played against Indiana. Yeah, first uh, game. Yeah. How many days out of high school were you when you were hitting the court in the Big Ten? Uh, so it was funny. I just played my last fall league game probably a couple of weeks before I came to school. So mm -hmm. a couple of weeks out of high school wow. right before I came. Shut How much did you get out of last year? I mean, you come here. As, I don't think anybody ever came here under that circumstance, right out of high school during the season. Mm -hmm. But if I remember, you were really needed. There were some injuries, mm -hmm. there was some lack of depth, mm -hmm. and you played right away. Yeah. All right. How intimidating was that for you? Yeah. So it's funny because I, I remember my uh, first, my first rebound. It was my the first. Literally, I got it. And it was crazy. The first play, I, the ball just happened to bounce my way, so I go up to get it. I remember. Uh, I forget. Race Thompson from Indiana was was right in front of me, and I jumped trying to get it, and he gave me a boost. So I got the board. I, I'm like in air, I throw it, and I fall. First play. So I'm like, yo, it's a different level of intensity. Just like from the bump, just from him trying to attempt to box me up. How like, how altered my body was, you know? Like from, just from that. So like, that was the first wake up call right there. Or that was like, that was one of the other, that's like the second or third. The first wake up call, first practice wigs, baseline drive dunks in front of everybody. And like mind you, I'm thinking I'm a, you know, mind you, you come around high school, you know, we're, we all think we're that guy in high school. You know, we all have accolades, we're all these, you know, recruits. But what really matters is when you get here. So it was, just, it was really just a humbling experience for me doing that because, uh, you know, it allowed me to to see that I wasn't at the level I needed to be, but it also allowed me to see what I needed to do to get there. Viner Foregates makes your right. company so Obviously, over the summer, you've gotten stronger and, you know, smarter and everything. How great was it? I remember you hit a three, a couple threes, yeah. I remember. How great is that when you realize you could play? Yeah. So, yeah, that was that was a surreal moment for me. Just 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 anybody's first bucket, you know, at the collegiate level, you know, no matter who they're playing. If we were if we were playing, a, you know, a, I don't even know the division, but the division four or five school. I mean, you still be happy about that. So uh, it was a it was just a surreal experience um, having my parents here too. It was it was really nice. How excited are you about seeing that wall being filled with students? Uh, yeah, that, that's that's one thing I can't wait for is uh, just happy to see the fans. Um, They're gonna be happy to see you. Oh uh, yeah, I hope so. I haven't even gotten a chance to play in front of them yet. I know how it gets rocking again. I've only heard stories, you know. So you won't imagine true. until you're here. You won't imagine. They're true. I, you know, I believe it. I believe it. it. I can't wait. Describe. Go ahead, wait. That's real. Well, I haven't met. I was a 17 year old freshman. I haven't met oh, any yeah. other people who turned 18 in college. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Summer birthday? Uh, no, later in the later in the fall. Oh, uh, oh, oh you're younger. You're yeah. 17. You're younger. Yeah, yeah. June 18. Oh, cool. So, what do you see for yourself on the court? I saw you out there running with the ones, with like the Philly Four, I call them. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. So, it certainly seems we're in for one more out there. Yeah. Uh, you know, just... I hope that uh, just bringing that, you know, defense intensity um, and shooting threes, you know, just playing in my role, uh, doing whatever, you know, Coach Turgeon and the guys are asking me. Um, that's pretty much what I intend to do, you know. Some nights, you know, the ball doesn't go to your way, and some nights it does. So just understanding that, and even with our team in the depth, I understand, like, even I, I, I get to watch these amazing guys every day, you know, and, and so everybody's so good, so talented. So I understand that we got the depth, and I understand that we're going to win. So in order to do that, y'all just got to do whatever I can. I've had the experience that all these uh, transfers brought in, mm -hmm. super seniors and stuff. Yeah. You feel that on, on, you know, on the court? I mean, a lot more talking, a lot more, you know. Yeah. So what I would say that is just having all these vets around is it truly feels like an intense environment. Um, That's what everybody yeah. has said. Like X, X brings mm -hmm. some of the most intensity I've ever seen. And I thought I was that guy who brought intensity. I thought I was that guy who, who was going to be a dog. And then he comes and he's, I'm a pit bull, he's a rock wild. He's a cane courser, you know what I'm saying? So that, that just makes me up my intensity even more. And same with uh, Fats. Fats, not, Fats isn't as loud as X, but Fats leads by example. So it's like having these, I'd say we have so many different guys 
uh, or so many transfers, but they all they all have different ways that they lead. Um, so it's just it's just a different vibe, but yet it somehow works because it's crazy because we have so many different types of people on the team too. So X X may have to reach out to me because me and him are similar. Fats may have to reach out more to Doc because me and him are similar. So just having that variety is what makes our team ultimately really good. How competitive this is almost like an all star team, honestly. And you gotta like prove your worth to get in the game by yourself. Yeah, so yeah, for me, I'm all about competition. I'm all about to compete. Not, that's the favorite part of the game for me. Um, I'm a big Mike, Mike guy, big Kobe guy, you know. So just having that mentality. Yeah. I'm really happy you came last year because you paid your dues last year. You yeah. learned it right or wrong way. Right? Yeah. And you won't have that in the first seven or eight games. Yeah. You got some tough games early in the year. Oh, yeah. You know, right there's, the, there's still real patsies on that schedule. Yeah, same. And, and at our, even our conference is that good. You know what I'm saying? Well, the conference is another yeah. story. That's more. Yeah. 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 We're going to be – it's going to be tough. But, like, the team we built and, and, and the chemistry we get, like, well, as you mentioned, we, this, this is kind of an all-star team. Yeah, we don't play like that. We play like a team of a bunch of a bunch of regular guys. You know, like we play like a team. We're a team. Well, after we get a couple of those posterizing dunks and a couple of threes, we're going to coin the nickname James Instagram the Third. Thanks, <laughs> That's for, being, nice. thanks for being on Turp Talk. We appreciate you, man.